hi hello everyone welcome to the channel and today i'm going to show you how to create a road polygons from line and employing a buffer tool in rgis pro so let's get started so in this video we're going to digitize the road polygons in this specific study region in london so let me zoom into this uh, study region so we're going to digitize some roads here in the london so now the roads can be seen either as a polygon or a line feature so but at this scale I guess because they're taking up space so we could like to consider them as a polygon feature the polygon feature can be more challenging to digitize when compared to the lines so and also we know the most of the roads are uh, roads width are pretty much the same so now to create a road polygon from lines first we need to create a, a line feature so to create a line feature so go to this option called view section so in that we cannot select this specific option called catalog pan so now you can visualize the new window has been popped up saying catalog so in that we're going to select this folder so it is navigated to our heading that is generating a road polygons from lines employing buffer tools so in that click this arrow so now we're going to create a new polygon here just by right click and you're going to select this new and in that we're going to select this option called shape file so we're going to cre create a new shape file so now you can enable to visualize the window called the geo processing has popped up to create a feature class so now let us enter the feature class name so we're going to enter the feature class name as a road so now I have entered the feature class name as a roads so in that so we're going to select the geometry type as a line so we're going to select the geometry as a polyline so select this option called polyline so i've selected the geometry type as a polyline so in that we're going to select the coordinate reference system that is our coordinate system so now let me select that so let me uh, select the current map so you can also select your coordinate system of your choice just by using this option or you can select the coordinate system just by clicking this option so now to create a, a new feature that is our uh, road uh, lo road feature so we have uh, with the geometry type of polyline we're gonna create that so to create click this option called run so now a new uh, feature called uh, our line feature which is named as a roads created here in the content table of content so this is our new feature class so you can able to visualize this is a line based feature class so just by visualizing the symbol here so now i'm going to go ahead and digitize each of the road as a line feature and after that we're going to use our buffer tool so to change the our line feature into a polygon so now let's start creating our roads so now go to this option called edit so in that you can able to visualize here there is an option called create features so it shows it uh, shows the create feature pan it allows you to create a feature in current map using a template so now let's start creating our roads so now click this option so now you can visualize the new window has been popped up saying create features so in that we're going to select this uh, particular roads and then we're going to select this option called uh, create a line feature so i've selected the line feature so let's start making roads so when i'm going to uh, digitize my line so you make sure that you're also using your over snapping tool so now you can able to take a look here let me click here so you can able to visualize the currently the snapping tool is on so it is on so basically what it uh, this means is so when we have two roads about uh, each other so the rgis pro is going to automatically connect those two, or two roads together next to them so it automatically connects those those uh, two roads together without any gaps or uh, over sheets so no gaps or uh, no over to avoid uh, no gaps or the over sheet over sheets between the two features so for that we are using the specific tool called snapping so as an example let me show you that so what it uh, looks like here so for example let me go ahead and uh, digitize this particular road here so i'm gonna digitize a specific road so now you can able to visualize have uh, draw drawn a line over the road so now let me double click those to finish this feature so double click will complete this line feature so now i'm going to create another uh, road feature 
which directly connects to this line uh, this first line feature so now you can able to visualize uh, when I go scroll that as I move my mouse towards the existing road it automatically wants to connect the road so now let me show you that example so let me create another line so I have to start digitizing it another right another road so that is the King's Road here King's Cross Road so I'm going to connect this uh, line feature so now we can able to visualize it now so now to connect this line feature to another line feature the snapping tool will be very useful so you can able to visualize there is a, a square symbol so uh, just by clicking that so the both the roads uh, just me double click this to finish this line feature so now you can able to visualize here now both the line features that get connected together without any gaps or any over sheets so you can visualize the both the line features that get connected here so snapping tool is very useful in this case to connect the two different line features together without any gaps or or over sheet and also you have to uh, digitize uh, your road feature so just by zooming to the region so we have uh, clearly able to visualize here have uh, not done it very uh, greatly so you have to zoom in well and start digitizing your roads so now let me digitize other part of this study region and you can also turn this uh, snapping tool on and off just by clicking this arrow and you can press this uh, you can click this symbol so you can just turn off or turn off turn on it it's your choice so suppose you want to join two roads together so it is very useful in this case for using the snapping tool so I have turned this on and I want to explain you one more thing so while using the snapping tool in case you have felt it is uh, kind of too sensitive so in that case you can use the snapping settings that is available here snapping settings so now let me show you that I'm going to click the snapping settings so currently the XY tolerance that is around 10 per pixel so this is around 10 pixels so here we are using 10 because it's going to snap the 10 pixels uh, so which means it's going to snap to something so that is within uh, 10 pixels of uh, where you're digitizing so now I'm happy with that uh, for now so but if you find it uh, it's not snapping enough you can just increase the tolerance so just increase the number so currently it is 10 you can also increase the number if you felt it's not snapping enough and similarly if you felt it uh, it is uh, too much snapping then you can reduce the number there you can reduce the this particular number so basically it is a matter of our personal preference and the scale at which you are currently working so now let me go ahead and digitize the these lines and I'll be I'll be uh, back in the moment so now we can able to visualize I have completed my digitizing for this Finsbury uh, part of the areas so I have digitized all the roads here so you can able to visualize it now so now make sure that you click this option to save your edits so let me click this so now save all edits click S yes. so uh, the edits are saved so now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in a bit closer so now let's take a look at this I'm gonna zoom in so now I can able to visualize it I have uh, done it well good in a pretty good way so I've digitized the roads so now let us head over to the map tab and let us view this particular road in our satellite image so we're gonna select this option called base map so in that we're gonna select this specific uh, base uh, base map called imagery so now let me click this so now we can able to visualize our road so now we're gonna measure the width of this road in Finsbury so for that we're gonna use the specific tool called measure so now let me uh, measure this measure the width of this road so now let's start uh, measuring our width of the road so let me turn this road layer off so to uh, avoid snapping with it so now let me measure the specific width of this uh, road so now let me start measuring it so now you can able to visualize the width of the road is around 13.88 meters so now similarly let me measure the width of the road in other part of this uh, study region so now, now let us measure the width of the road in other part of this region let me turn on, turn on our roads layer so now let me measure this part of the study region so let us measure the width so now uh, 
let me turn on this layer so you're gonna measure this width of the road so it is around so now we can able to visualize the, the width of the road is around uh, it's around 18 meters so it is around 18.23 meters similarly one more uh, part of the study region let me turn on the road layer so now let me take a uh, width of the road here so now let us take the width of the road here so now let me measure the width just my just uh, turn off the layer so now let's start measuring the width so it is around 14 point 59 meters so now we have visualized the different values we have uh, uh, the width of the different values that is the width of the road so there is an uh, average of around 16.5 uh, meters average so now let me close this so the average width of the road will be around uh, 15 to 16 meters so I will consider as 15 meter as an average width so uh, so what I'm, I'm gonna do is so to use that line feature so to create a buffer around it so that's gonna convert into a polygon feature so uh, basically I'm using our line feature and uh, we're gonna apply our buffer which converts it into a, a polygon feature so now let us zoom out so now let me turn this road layer on so just right click so we're gonna use this specific option called zoom to layer so now we have zoomed to the layer so now you can clearly able to visualize our line feature here so next we're gonna go to the analysis tab so that is here we're gonna click this option and uh, into the tools so here a new window popped up that is geoprocessing so this is really a cool area where you can able to visualize the different tools so now let me click this uh, particular option called toolboxes so now we can able to visualize the different uh, tools available are just showing in this part of this window called geoprocessing so in the toolboxes so we can use all these different sort of tools to analyze our data so now let us search by a toolbar tool called a buffer so now let me enter as a buffer so now let us click the first option called a buffer the analysis tool so now let me click this so this is our buffer tool so in the buffer tool let us input our feature so the feature called roads so now output feature class name will be of roads buffer so now the key thing is the distance that you want that buffer that buffer want to be created so we have estimated the width of our road that is estimated to be around 15.5 uh, meters which is 7.75 uh, meters on either side of the roads we have already created so now i am going to put that value that is 7.75 meters so let me enter the unit for it so now we have to enter the unit as in meters so let me select that so most of the other things i'm gonna leave it as in, a, in the default so the only thing i'm gonna change is uh, it is the dissolve type so now i'm gonna select as a dissolve all output output features into a single feature so basically if, go, if you're gonna select as a no dissolve so the final uh, the result where you can end up with a lot of polygons so you can previously remember and during the snapping tool so we have created a snapping for each of the different roads at the end so as a result in the last we'll get, we will get a, a lot of different polygons to together in our buffer so to avoid that we're gonna merge that is we're gonna dissolve all the features together as a single polygon that is a single polygon so for that we are specifically using this option called dissolve all output features into a single feature so now let me select that so now we can able to visualize that so basically the dissolve tool what it does is the polygon created from all bu buffers dissolves all the polygon boundaries and create a single polygon instead so in no dissolve the polygon created from a buffer retains all the buffer boundaries and multiple polygons are created so you can visualize there is a multiple polygons are present in this particular line feature and similarly by using dissolve tool so there is a single polygon so it have uh, it have um, dissolved all the polygons together as a single polygon using dissolve tool so now let us go ahead and run that and check out that so now click this option called uh, run 
So once it is done, it is automatically putting it up in our table of contents. So you can now be able to visualize our roads buffer. So we can uh, able to visualize it. So now let me zoom in so you can able to visualize that. So now we can able to visualize our road that is our line feature has been turned into a polygon feature. So now let me turn off this roads, uh, our line feature. So now you can visualize our, uh, our line feature has been converted to a polygon feature which is clearly able to you can able to visualize it here so now let me turn on this uh, roads that is our line feature so you can visualize it it automatically sits on a perfectly in the center part of this uh, polygon that is our roads buffer so in some places the width of the roads it's not going to be a perfect one so but most of the part it is kind of perfect so you can uh, able to visualize it so it is kind of perfect but some part it is kind of uh, has some misalignment that is due to the digitizing uh, error so uh, you can able to do it more accurately just by zooming and start digitizing the line in in this particular zoom level so to uh, avoid this misalignment so now we can uh, we, sh we can able to see that we converted our line that is line feature to into a polygon feature so it is kind of good so now we have our single polygon feature so thanks for watching so in this video i have shown you how to uh, create a road polygon from lines using a buffer tool in arcgis pro so thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like